Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm not exactly sure how to start this video. Yes, the only Maserati MC20 on US soil right now. This is the first one to hit the streets. These cars are not gonna be sitting in dealerships. They're all sold out. They're going directly to customers. So to see one, let alone to get to review the first one, this is, I'm just, I'm super grateful to have this opportunity to bring this here to the channel for you guys because you've been waiting on it. The first US spec Maserati MC20 supercar is here. So on Maserati's 107th birthday today, December 1st when I'm filming this, I get this exclusive. Guys, I'm so grateful. Guys, if you're loving the videos like you're seeing today, make sure you hit that subscribe button to help grow the channel, all right? Because when you do that, I get more opportunities like this to get the MC20 and other beautiful future Maseratis in front of you guys first thing. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button on this video. I'm going to try to give you guys the most info I can with the time that I have because not only is this the first U.S. soil MC20, not only is it a celebrity MC20, but it is a Fritasuri MC20. That means this is custom, all right, very custom. In fact, that I have to show you the stitching inside of the interior and that might give a few things away. But with that said, this is incredible. Now, if you guys are wondering, Yes, it still has the same uh, 2014 Maserati key fob when Maserati came back into the States with the Ghibli. Um, yeah, it has the same key fob as a Ghibli. So if you have a MC20 and you have a Ghibli, hey, you guys are on the same level when it comes to the key fob. Now, this is not a bad key fob whatsoever, but I thought they would change it up a little bit for the MC20. But hey, I'm not complaining. All right, so let's talk about the spec for the first MC20 on US soil. Well, you can tell it's black. That specific black color is called Nero Enigma. Now that is Nero black, obviously, and then Enigma is the black color that is offered on the MC20. So that's what we're looking at here. Now, I don't have the sticker, all right? So it could be a different black. It could be a Fidesuri black. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going with Nero Enigma if this is the black that is on the MC20. Now I do want, I do know one thing, is these are the 20 inch birdcage design alloy wheels, all right, with a glossy dark meat on finish. Now, again, with, you know, this being a fitter Surrey and being a special client, um, this could be a little bit different, but I'll get to the rest of that wheel setup in just a second. Now this is spec'd out. Now it is not completely optioned out, but we do have a lot of options on this car like the carbon fiber package. We'll get to that in just a second, but make sure you guys check out the new Maserati Insignia. All right, this started it all for the new Maserati lineup for 2022. So with that said, you do have the blue and white Insignia now. Um, for Maserati, it looks phenomenal as always, um, but it just, it looks different. It hits different when you see it on an MC20. Now again, the carbon fiber package includes this big front lip done in all carbon. Look at that. Part of the front grill, all carbon fiber. And look at the grill. It's got like a 3D effect. It like pushes in, it waves out and bubbles. It looks cool. And then look at the Trident. Look at the Trident, guys. This is back to the standard Trident that we were used to back before 2017, before they switched it up to the big fat one to put level two ADAS in here. So with that said, a lot more aggressive. It looks a lot better on the MC20. Now you can see the lights here look insane, the LED lights. Again, we're gonna see this DNA on Maserati models to carry on. We already know that the Gracale SUV that's coming out will have headlights that are very similar to these, but we'll see those all illuminated a little bit later. Now you do have on the hood here, the nostrils and you have some cooling there, all right? So again, that's functional cooling, but I'm not exactly sure how it works, um, you know, with the whole Maserati setup. I don't wanna act like I do. I'm new to this, so as I find out more about this car, um, I'll learn more about how all this works. Now we do have the front there, all right? A little bit of space up front. And then when we come to the side, well, those birdcage wheels, let's go back to that because this is where it's special. Uh, yeah, it's pink. These are pink calipers. All right, Brembo brakes. You can see the carbon ceramic rotors. Look at these things. Insane. That's incredible. A monochrome center cap, black script, Brembo brakes with pink calipers, Bridgestone Potenza Sport tires. This setup, insane. Now you guys know that the theme is gonna carry on with this pink. So we're looking at the MC20 logo 
done in pink as well. And it's not gonna show as well on the camera, but that is actually pink, all right? So it goes exactly with these caliper colors. If you guys can see, if I can kind of get them back in there with you so you can see it together. But yeah, it's one of a kind, all right? So it, it doesn't stop there. Now the side skirt, carbon fiber package. So you will see that done in carbon as well, just like the front lip. And then to solidify that this is special, the Maserati Fittisuri badge is right there. Again, because you know that this is not your run of the mill MC20. This is specced up, all right? This is special. And I'm gonna get to more of that stuff in just a moment. But again, another look at the carbon si uh, fiber side. So where you'll see, all right, the aerodynamics there for downforce. Um, and you'll see that there's a vent in there, kind of like a cover to protect the tires from shooting rock chips down the side of this big carbon fiber blade. So that is what the mesh vent is there for. And we'll get to that in just a moment uh, once we open these butterfly doors. Now coming up along the side, the new Trident for 2022 is here. We've seen it on other Maseratis, but again, it hits differently when it's on an MC20. Look at that thing, done in black, just phenomenal. I mean, so much presence, step, step back. Look at that, it stands out, it looks right at you. <laughs> it's insane, all right? And then we have ventilation and cooling right here for your Natuno engine in the back where to see the radiators are. And I mean, what more can you say? That's just aerodynamics, that's just ventilation, making it breathable for that engine to perform at its best. Now, carbon fiber again, but right here on the trunk spoiler, all right? So I guess this is a trunk. I mean, it's a, it's kind of a trunk <laughs> right here. You know, even though our engine's right here, it's still kind of a trunk. So your trunk lid spoiler and carbon all the way across, all right? And that's not the last bit of carbon, all right? You can also do a carbon roof, um, but that was not optional in this car, but you do have the carbon fiber rear bumper. This whole thing is carbon. Can you guys see that? The whole thing across, integrated with the exhaust pipes. It's done in carbon and that, again, that's part of the package. You can even see it right here throughout the tail. That is all carbon right there, okay? That's, that's insane, all right? And then you can see the rear diffuser, very aggressive, very sharp, right down there to give it that thin look. Looks like it's just about to just devour the ground, all right? And then you do have your exhaust tips done in gloss black to just make everything look even better. Now, probably the coolest feature on the MC20 is the engine cover, the glass done in the Trident flavor. Check that out. That is insane. So unique. I've never seen any automaker do anything like that to their um, sports cars, supercars, anything. That's such a great homage to the brand. I love that. All right, now you do have your third brake light integrated underneath. All right, you have some mesh going along the bottom and the sides because you have to make this breathable. Why? Well, there's something special underneath. Yes, the Natuno engine. All right, so let's talk about this thing because it is insane. We see it done in carbon fiber. This is actually an option to have the Natuno engine done in carbon fiber, but this is a three liter V6 engine with 621 horsepower. So that brings your max speed to 202 miles per hour with a zero to 60 time in 2.9 seconds. All right, that's just insane for this engine. I love it for Maserati. This is the first engine back when they started to build their own engines. The MC20 or Natuno engine is gonna carry on and live in other Maserati models, but this is their first shot at rebuilding their engine, rebuilding their brand, and wow, this thing is incredible. This twin turbo is insane. We'll hear it in just a moment as well. But this 90 degree layout with 3,306 pounds, I mean, it definitely gets up and moving as I told you the specs, but I just have to, I mean, admire this because again, this carbon fiber is an option. So we're not gonna see this engine cover on every single MC20. But with that said, the performance is just incredible. Let's talk more about the performance actually, because this can do zero to 124 in less than 8.8 .8 seconds, and it will stop your braking distance from 62 to zero in 108 feet for this rear wheel drive. So again, insane. I'm just in love with this. I mean, guys, I can't talk enough about this engine. 
Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm just, my breath is taken away. Now we do have some cargo room here. Um, you guys probably wouldn't guess, but the rear luggage space is 3.5 cubic feet. So with that said, you do have a little bit of room back here. Um, you do have your instruction manual here, all right? You do have first aid and everything here for you, okay? And then other than that, a couple carpets, um, nothing else really to talk about in the rear, okay? That's, that's basically it. So just to give you guys a quick briefing of what you're looking at for the wheelbase of the MC20 for the dimensions, well, the wheelbase itself is 106 inches with a 66 inch front track, a rear track of 65 inches, and you also have the front tires, 245 35 ZR20s with the rear tires, 305 30 ZR20s. Now, again, I did mention the cubic feet for the rear luggage space is 3.5 uh, cubic feet with a front capacity is 1.8 cubic feet. Now, the overall length is 184 inches inches with the width being 86 inches, the height being 48 inches, and again the wheelbase at 106. Now the MC20 does have a front lift system, but it is optional. This car happens to have it. Yes, it's optional with the front lift. So if I were to press it, well, we can raise up. All right. Adjusting our suspension by raising. And you guys can see it in real time. And then we can lower it. So you guys can see if you need to go over speed bumps, if you need to go over any kind of steep driveways, well, you can do that as well. Can't stop staring at that engine bay. Cool, right? But you do have your classic Maserati door here. Um, premium fuel, you see E5, E10, all right, E95, um, again, Premium fuel only for this. I don't know the exact specs for fuel economy. I don't care. I'm just gonna put it like that. I don't care. The big elephant in the room, the butterfly doors. We didn't forget you Silicon Valley for what you did to the Quattro Porte. These are billionaire doors, all right? If you guys know, you know. Open it up and yeah. Maserati now has butterfly doors. Now I'll take a step back so you can see what that looks like with them open. And yeah, that just is just the road presence on that. I can imagine just getting out to go to the gas station and how many heads you would turn. So to further accentuate that, we're going to open up the other side. And then it looks like this thing is going to fly away. Check that out. Even looks cooler with the carbon fiber side. So we take a step back. And yeah, the hat. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I, I am in shock. I don't know what to say here. Now, Maserati's designer said himself that he made these doors because of the first Maserati with a carbon fiber monocoque needed some, you know, help with egress. All right, egress means, you know, being able to get in and out. So he has the dihedral doors or the, you know, butterfly doors to help you get in and out of the MC20, all right, because of this carbon fiber monocoque that you see here all right the big mc20 side blade side sill there as you can see it's not exposed carbon fiber which i'm not mad at that because getting in and out of this thing you could scratch it sometimes and scuff it uh, with your feet getting in and out but this does have a carbon fiber monocoque first for maserati as we know this tested on the alfro male 4c so with that test mule being carbon fiber monocoque we knew it was coming and now we have it here now you do have your big aluminum pedals down there as well all right, you do see the trident and the brake pedal. Looks really good. You have your seat adjustments right here on the seat. All right, not too crazy as far as, you know, the spec of the seat adjustments. You know, it's just plastic. Um, not like most Maseratis now for 2021 and 2022, where you have the aluminum with the gloss black centers. Um, they kept it simple for the MC20 here. You also have, looking up into these seats, something quite special. That's not a trident, guys. That is an emblem of something particular to this client. Now, it's done in pink, all right? That's why I said this thing is special. You're not gonna see another Maserati like this. This is tailored to that specific person, and that, that is a logo, all right? So just to let you know, no trident there, a logo there with pink stitching to go with it. Yes, I'm telling you guys, this is special, and I'm not done yet, all right? Check the Alcantara, that's also, a part of the etching 
for that logo, all right? This is not a standard etching in the Alcantara on the leather seats. Yeah, I'm, 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 I can't even put this into words. This is incredible, guys. So I had to show that to you right away before you guys picked up on it. Now, as you guys can see, this is a different way of doing the door because we never do the door open like this before. You have leather with the contrasted pink stitching to go with it. And you have Alcantara in the inserts with more pink stitching. All right, you have your door strap to pull the door down. And you have your Sonos Faber sound system. Now you know that this one best sound system for the MC20, Sonos Faber is gonna be the new flavor. And you might, without me saying too much, you might see it on an upcoming Maserati. With that said, you also have the door release button. So when you're inside of the car, this is how you open the door, all right? That is your door release, all right? So you press that and you push it wide open. I mean, that's, that's so cool. Guys, let's step inside of this thing. So I'm gonna do my best. I always have a problem with the 4C getting in and out, but we're just gonna swing in like that. Make sure you lift that foot over. Do not do that, guys. Do not do that. And here we are inside of the brilliant Maserati MC20. It's the first Maserati I've seen, and I think that it's the first Maserati with the start-stop button on the steering wheel. Again, deriving from Alpha, the airbag setup, the controls. I mean, derived from Alpha. It's an Alpha, Alpha steering wheel with the Maserati insignia there and a launch control button. Let's not get it twisted. You can't distinguish it without saying that launch control button, all right? So with that said, the steering wheel itself has carbon fiber on the top, carbon fiber on the bottom, and Alcantara on the sides with carbon fiber inserts around the airbag and around the buttons there so you guys can see the controls done in dry carbon. Right. Now you guys can see your cruise control there, all right? And you can see your lift, all right? So you do have a front lift for your Maserati MC20 so you can raise it and lower it for need be purposes, all right? If you need to get over a speed bump, probably wanna raise it. If you wanna park it, hey, lower it, make it look good. Taking it on a high speed run, lower it for extra downforce, all that good stuff. All right, volume controls for your radio and you have your hands-free stuff here, all right? Again, we talk about that launch control button and then we have the start-stop button which we should probably use, right? Let's close her up, grab that handle, pull it down, all right? Foot on the brake per usual, and we go. And it sounds phenomenal. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to start it is so I can turn the wheel to show those beautiful, big, column-mounted Italian paddle shifters done in carbon fiber. Uh, we've, we're used to those paddle shifters, but in the dry carbon look, that looks cool. All right, so I don't even know, again, where to start. There's so much going on. You do have your lighting controls over here and your mirror controls, all right, for your passenger and driver's side mirrors, um, you know, because it is not on the door, so you do have it here. Um, you also have your lighting controls here with your blinker, you know, your brights, turn indicators, stuff like that, all set up back there. If my camera will focus, it does not like to focus on it. There you go, you guys can see it now. <laughs> all right, and then windshield wipers on this side here on the right-hand side. Um, so again, it's typical stuff that you're used to, um, but it's in an MC20, all right? You do have your Maserati touch control, or sorry, MIA system, that's the new one, all right? Your Maserati Intelligent Assistant here on the MC20 as well, all right? This beautiful floating touch screen looks so cool. There's so many different ways you can customize this. I've showed you this in all of the other Maserati models for 2021 and 2022, and it looks the same here on the MC20, um, just more beautiful. Um, <laughs> this is just cool. Now you do have a rear view camera, so I can show you that there. And it's just a standard backup camera. All right, now there's one thing I do need to mention as I exit out of that is your rear view here is an actual camera camera. All right, so a real time rear view camera. Going through the rest of the spec here, obviously you see leather. All right, you see the carbon fiber going across the speedo here. You see the pink stitching continuing on over the glove box, the MC20 right there showing you the MC20 dial with the Italian flag there. All right, you do have a glove box here. 
done in all Alcantara, wrapped in Alcantara for the glove box, all right? And if I go over, you'll see up, all Alcantara headliner, all right? Look at that. Alcantara headliner all throughout, all right? Your home link here, all right? Your reading light, everything, parking uh, sensors, everything up top there. Beautiful engine and the tuna engine hiding back there. What a wonderful feeling to just have that beast sitting right behind you in this 202 mile per hour Maserati. Now you do see the back shelf here, all right? You do have a cup holder here, which is big enough for an Italian espresso, and that's about it. And you have an armrest here, which is, it, it's a small armrest, but you can put your key fob there um, just in case your key fob battery dies and you need to communicate with the key or communicate with the car, the key, to start the car just in case the battery fob dies. You can do that there. All right, now you have your radio controls here. You have your windows and you have your lock button there. Right. Now in this central carbon fiber tunnel, this is where our drive mode is. This is how we move the car, all right? So we can press this for reverse, all right? We can press this for drive and manual mode. And then we have our different driving modes here like GT, Sport, Corsa. We can turn our traction off here and we can do wet with our dampers here where we can soften those as well, pressing that in. So that is where this central fun and driving experience really comes from is this you know dial here which obviously they made it stand out because of that reason and it looks great now you do also have a little cubby hole right under here all right in case you want to place a phone or anything like that and i'm not sure if it charges but let's find out if it's a charging one yes it charges it's charging the phone all right so there you go <laughs> you do have a charger there that is a wireless charger awesome all right so with that said Going back to the Speedo here. Now, there is a menu button right here that I'm gonna press to change a few things here, but I'm not gonna get too deep into it because I don't know all of this stuff. And yeah, I got my compass there. I can do the full map. So if I hold it, then it should display the full map. Let's do that. All right, look at that. Full map display up there, that looks cool go a little bit closer there all right so we got our full GPS there and now I'm gonna hold it again to get back to this and yeah all right so not a ton that I can really go through because I don't know much about it but you can see everything on how it's set up for these digital dials um, so you can see your fuel you can see your oil you can see your odometer all right you can see all of your trip and average there for your kilometers miles per hour all right and you can see your revs for your RPMs, everything like that. And that's in GT mode. Now, if I were to change it to, hold on, change it to wet, same exact thing. How about if I change it to sport? All right, so now you have a different dial for sport. All right, it gets a little bit more aggressive with that RPM setup. And then if I hold it over to Corsa, Corsa mode, well, yeah, that's where it gets crazy. All right, so, yeah, Corsa mode, it gives you the big RPM rev limiter at the top. You see everything right there as far as what drive mode you're in. All right, your traction is off, all right. You can see your miles per hour there. So that's a crazy driving mode. But with all that said, I, I am just, I am blown away. I'm inside of a very special MC20 and the first MC20 here. This is surreal. Now, per usual, we need to show off the lighting system for the MC20, especially because we're going to see this in future Maserati models. This is starting it off, all right? So, we already know this is coming on the Gracale, but check it out, all right? You do have the LED headlights, all right, with the switchback turn signals. You have your running light up top, running light here, and then a switchback turn signal right here. That looks insane. Now, when we come along the side, well, right by the MC20, is a nice amber light all right so you guys can see that on the side doesn't show as well in this florida sun and then in the rear you can see the led lighting there with the turn signal as well and then if i go to this side here you can see where it stays stagnant for the led running lights so then when we step back then you guys can see it it looks really cool right so with that said what did you guys think? On Maserati's birthday, I got to film an MC20, a special MC20, and 
I am just honored. Now with that said, if you guys did enjoy this Maserati MC20, give this video a big thumbs up. We gotta get it up in the rankings. We gotta talk about it, we gotta share it. All right, get, leave the comments down below. We gotta do all that good stuff so everybody can see this and we can have a bigger discussion on this first very special Maserati MC20 here in the United States. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, um, check my links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo down in the description just in case you guys wanna donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Now you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch in case you guys wanna get some hoodies, long sleeve shirts, tote bags, stickers, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, so everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo, that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now, with that said, you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, click that notification bell. All right, be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.